If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Let's study about the composition of local anesthetic solution. And today is a very bad throat day for me because I'm trying to speak properly but my voice is cracking. I don't know why. Probably I need strep pills. But I don't have one. So <laughs> let's continue. Okay, so each 1 ml of the local anesthetic solution will contain first of all the local anesthetic itself which is the lignocaine hydrochloride and it is 20 milligram 20 milligram so this is in 1 ml okay 1 ml of the solution will have these many you know grams of local anesthetic and then we have the vasoconstrictor which is the adrenaline bitartrate and this is in 0 0.0125 milligram okay then we have buffering agent which is the NaCl and that is 6 milligram 6 milligram and then we have reducing agent which is the sodium metabisulfite and that is 0 0.5 milligram 0 0.5 milligram and then we have vehicle or carrier solution and then we have the preservative which is the methyl paraben and that is 1 mg okay and then finally we have the fungicide which is usually thymol so what we have first of all we have the local anesthetic solution which is the lignocaine hydrochloride and then we have the vasoconstrictor which is adrenaline bitartrate and then we had the buffering agent okay and then we have the reducing agent which was the sodium metabisulfite and then we have the vehicle so let me just use in bracket vehicle and then we had the preservative which was methyl paraben and then finally we had something which was the fungicide yes okay so this is a very bad attempt at making a mnemonic but i found it easier to memorize so we'll just say l v b and take this f for r v p okay r v p so l v b for r v p is the composition of local anesthetic solution i know this is a very horrible attempt at mnemonic making but this is what i can do for today <laughs> okay so i hope you found the video helpful but one thing more let us study about vasoconstrictor which is the adrenaline bitartrate the question is why do we add a vasoconstrictor in there so what is the use of all these components why we don't just go about lignocaine hydrochloride why add so many ingredients in them okay so let us take the vasoconstrictor first vasoconstrictor and we are using adrenaline whoops too fat adrenaline bitartrate bitartrate so why to add adrenaline bitartrate or why to use a vasoconstrictor so these vasoconstrictors are extremely important in the clinical use of local anesthetic because without these compounds the clinical use of local anesthetics in dentistry would be hampered by the limited duration of action because most anesthetic produces vasodilation so when we are giving la to a patient most of them will produce vaso dilation dilation that means it will increase the diameter of the vessels okay but there are exceptions to it there are some like mepivacaine and prilocaine which don't produce vasodilation so what the vasoconstrictor does it reduces the blood flow 
at the site of injection for example if we are injecting at this site okay let us suppose we injected the solution here the vasoconstrictors it will reduce the blood flow at the site of injection and it will reduce the spread and resorption of the local anesthetic it will remain at this place only therefore it will enhance the duration and intensity so it will do two things it will enhance the duration of the la and it will enhance the intensity intensity so we need these two things right because when we are when we are trying to numb the area we want it to be effective for a long duration of time and we want it to be properly effective the intensity should be proper so the vasoconstrictor is helping us in that in addition the vasoconstrictor also delays absorption so when the absorption rate is slow then the chances of systemic toxicity is also decrease so let us summarize the advantages of the vasoconstrictor it reduces the systemic absorption of the local anesthetic therefore there is less chances of systemic toxicity then it enhances the duration and the intensity of the local anesthesia now the second thing is antioxidant or the reducing agent so why to add a reducing agent in this case the reducing agent was sodium bisulfite sodium bisulfite on oxidation it changes to sodium bi sulfate and therefore it helps to prevent the breakdown of this vasoconstrictor right here so this reducing agent is saving the vasoconstrictor now for the buffering agent we were adding sodium chloride okay so this is added for osmotic balance or to bring the tenacity of the solution to that of the tissue fluid and we also had the preservative so why add preservative this is a very common sense question because we have to maintain a sterile solution isn't it so that is why we add preservative which was the methyl paraben or propyl paraben then we had something which was called the carrier solution the local anesthesia and the adrenaline this is dissolved in the carrier solution to make the solution isotonic or ph compatible to tissue isotonic and for the carrier solution we can use ringer's lactate solution or distilled water now before ending the video i have a question for you and the question is what could be the negative effects of vasoconstrictors if you know the answer please comment below and if you don't know the answer then also comment below because i'll be more than happy to make another video for that i hope you found the video helpful thanks for watching allah hafiz stay blessed